Okay, so we're in uh, Busby, you can see shops, shops, shops. Not very good. And then what do we see? Is that a baker's? Is that, oh, a, a flower shop? Is that, oh, a cafe? Uh, hmm, I don't think so. Okay, so how does knowing Yeshua compare with uh, winning the lottery? If you win the lottery, everybody wants to know you, everybody wants to be your friends. And um, friends that you used to have that don't bother with you, start calling you up and want to be your friend again. And the reason is, because you have money. But if you accept Yeshua, if you accept Jesus Christ, what actually happens is that people think you've lost your mind. People think that, okay, this guy, he's crazy because... You know, he's accepted Yeshua, what is that? Uh, well, we understand Jesus, we understand Christmas presents and Easter bunnies, but Yeshua? Is it, are you talking about the Jewish Messiah? Are you talking about the real Messiah here who, who bled on the cross at Passover? And they think that you're crazy because you've accepted Yeshua. But what's actually happened is you've accepted Jesus Christ and he's made himself known to you and written his commandments on your heart and mind. So he's made himself known to you both as the Gentile and Jewish Messiah, himself first coming as a Jew, even though he, he uh, yeah, he was a Jew, but he was also the son of the living God. So he was like God's son, the creator of the universe, his son. So when you tell somebody that you know the creator of the universe, nobody wants to know you. If you tell people if they know that you've won the lottery, people want to know you. Isn't that a little bit crazy? Something to think about. God bless you.